this is Inspirational Nails and I wanted to come and show you how beautiful my sand polish came out and this is the end result and I want to make sure that it does focus and you get to see how pretty it came out and I just did um, put some rhinestones on it but this is just the mix on top of my nail and as you see I don't have anything on this one okay and here is the polish the way it came out it is absolutely beautiful now I'm gonna tell you it came out um, a very teal blue black purple silver I mean it, it came out so pretty the way the colors actually combined it with each other and also some of the nail pol and some of the glitters did bleed and that is what you're what's going to happen if you use mixes that you're not sure you know what glitter is going to bleed or not unless you know what glitters don't bleed and you make your own mix um, in order to put it in the polish but <clears throat> you know you take a chance with it um, I do recommend that you don't put a lot in the nail polish polish when you are putting glitter mixes in there and you're not sure if it's going to bleed so you just want to test it out probably with a half a teaspoon to see what your result is and then if you see that you know the way the colors are coming together is looking good then you can put you know more um, and I'm going to show you because if you look at this this is only um, I use this one I had another one that I was going to use and these are ones that I have made for swaps that people have entered in my swaps um, I think this was one of the ones from my birth birth month swap and it has a lot of um, holographic glitter which is like the little dots these here now these do bleed but let me tell you they bleed when you see what's amazing what's under the glitter <laughs> not crazy but um, apparently these here they um, once they are stripped of their color they come out to be like holographic purple and silver very pretty and um, it, that's why you see a lot of the silver and the purple I don't know if you can really see but see the dot there that one's a purple one so it really um, came out really nice and then because I was dissecting of what I put in here because I don't actually fully remember but another one that I know it's in there is the square or rectangle whatever you want to um, call it they're like the little rectangle glitters the little square glitters these I don't know if it's actually this one I'm not sure if it was this one or a pink one I put in but they come out black like a matted black and they are absolutely beautiful that's why I put the black big rhinestones kind of highlight the black that's in the in the um, glitter mix um, so those were the ones I really got to be able to really pull out of it and to show you that they did bleed but it bled very nicely <laughs> that's the best way that I can put it that it did bleed not very um, nicely and also also remember when you're using the sand this is the sand that I use now I made this sand in the color is not gonna come out on um, exactly what it is it's a very lilac type of purple and I'm not sure if you could see that and you see it is grainy it's not very fine versus something like this which this is very bright yellow and you see how very fine it is now this does bleed I used this one and a pink one when I was making my first um, sand polish but I was okay with that because um, I wasn't putting a mix in it I just used other things to make more of a full base sand polish with very little glitter in there um, so I'm gonna show you on my nail how it came out so as you see it is thick you know and it's something that you do have to work with and when you see how it comes out on the nail it is absolutely beautiful
and I just make sure that I spread it around very well and because again it is very thick so there you go now this is of course just one coat and I did two coats but I always recommend that you let that first coat dry completely before you add on a second coat especially with this type of polish because it is very thick so you want it to make sure that it really adheres to your nail before you put on the second coat and then your top coat um, which I use Chasuit on the top and that's it and this is the look that I came up with so I hope you like and until the next one Bye, guys.